The race for the Christmas number one is under starters orders. And now a 92 year old chart topper has set her sights on the holiday accolade. Despite the X Factor's dominance, Dame Vera Lynn, with a music career spanning seven decades, is taking on the musical newbies. The Force's sweetheart is to release a revamped version of her wartime song, We'll Meet Again, to take on the reality show's winner head to head. The new version sees her backed by label mates, the 60 piece Fron Mel Voice Choir. And while they easily outnumber the X Factor's finalists, it's the TV pop stars who have the form. The show's winner has topped the charts for the past four years at Christmas, with Shane Ward, Leona Lewis, Leon Jackson, and Alexandra Burke each taking their turn. But Dame Vera has already topped the album charts this year. According to her label's general manager, Mark Wilkinson, her credentials are not in question. Well, Dame Vera Lynn is still, of course, a very, very popular singer. She had a number one album just back in September, keeping the Beatles off the number one spot. So I think there's still a lot of love and affection out amongst the British public for Dame Vera Lynn. If enough of them get together and buy this, then yes, I think she has a very good chance to be number one this Christmas. Number one or not, the single is a triumph of technology using Dame Vera's original vocals from 1939 to create the 2009 version. Well, we're using technology that's never been used before, technology that's actually come out of Hollywood in the last year or two. We're taking her vocal, her vocal lines from the original 1939 record on Decca and teaming it up with the Rom male voice choir vocals that were recorded here in London just a couple of months ago. Even so, Dame Vera has not had a number one single since 1954, while the hit show's winner has sewn up the Christmas number one within days of release since 2005. But 2009 could prove to be the year that a wartime songstress proves it's she who has the X Factor.